I wanted to do a review and sort of like an instruction instructional video about Rust-Oleum glitter paint. So it comes in two different versions. There's a can of glitter paint and then there is a there's now a new product. It's a like a quart of brush on paint that they just came out with. So I got this product first for a dresser. I had waited so long to get the dresser I wanted. I found like an antique dresser and I wanted to redo it. And I was like, okay, well, I wanted to have glitter on it, but I didn't want to do all the throwing glitter at the wall and throwing glitter on things and buying extra stuff to mix in. I said, I wish this was a paint that was just glitter. And I don't like using spray paint that much because it's kind of uncontrollable at times. So I was like, you know what? I wish there was one that was in a can. And so we found one at Walmart of all places. So I was pretty happy about it. I said, okay, well, let's buy it. It was $20 at Walmart, um, which is kind of pricey for a tiny quarter paint. But I was like, okay, I'm going to go ahead and get this because it has glitter in it. If you look at the picture, the wall looks perfect. So in case you think that, well, it does say wall paint. It also does say... Um, it's for drywall, wood, metal, plastic, and hardboard. So it's not just for walls. So I was like, okay, let me give it a shot. So I finally open it up when I get home, and this is how it looks. So you look at, you look at it, and it's like, wow, it looks just like the picture. And then you think, well, it's gonna be easy. I'm just gonna brush this on. Now I'm not sure how familiar most of the people are with painting, but normally. You want to go in the same direction, nice long strokes, okay? And also, I thought maybe we could, not necessarily cheat, but, you know, use a roller. Because it says on the back of the can, it says, can be applied with a roller, brush, or paint sprayer. So, we got a roller, and we tried that also. Well, I found out that this paint is not really paint, okay? It, it technically is paint, but it's more like glue with sparkles. So I think, to be honest with you, the best person for this kind of paint would be like your five-year-old, five to 10-year-olds. Just give them a paintbrush, give them some paint and let them go at it. Because it turns out you cannot use this paint with traditional painting methods, okay? It's not like those texture paints where you have to sponge it on or whatever. No, 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 no. You actually are supposed to go in all different kind of directions. They're, they actually advise you to go horizontal, then vertical, and I guess diagonal, upside down, whatever. I'm not sure, <laughs> but um, that's, that's the advice they give you instead of painting like real paint, so. Um, it's basically the first layer that I painted. I really feel like the paint may have been defective because it just come out, but it, f it started to run. So I painted it on my piece and I noticed within 10 seconds, like these little, little bubbles and it started to just slowly drip. And I was like, well, I, I don't understand why it's dripping. I put like the thinnest layer possible on it just to see how it will work out. And it continuously, every part of it, except for the part that was flat and level, dripped over and over again. So I would have to stand there with a brush and catch it. So I had to babysit my furniture while it dripped. And I would continuously watch it. So I also wanted to point out that on here, it says, uh, it says it can be used over a colored or white primer. For best results, use a primer that's similar in color to the glitter paint. Okay, so it says it can be used. Um, I really feel like they should change that and put you must use a primer. Don't try it. I feel so bad for these new people that have a white wall. And it does say on there, can be used over a color of white primer. They have a white wall and they think they're gonna paint it silver by using this paint and they go out and they get this, 
tiny cord for $20 and start rolling it on a wall and realize that it's fingernail polish with silver specks in it. Um, I'm gonna let you know if you plan on doing this for a wall, buy at least like seven or eight of these because I've already gone through two of these for uh, just a, a dresser. Um, <sighs> um, I actually did use some silver primer I found, not silver, but gray, some gray primer I found, so it wasn't so terrible when you start seeing it dry and like there's nothing on it. All it, all it does is uh, drip and dry transparent, so you can't really see the colors. Now, if you are a very determined, strong-willed human being, very determined, and you have a determined life purpose and you really want to have a glitter wall, I honestly recommend you try to do something else. But if you have to use this can version of this paint, please be advised you will have to do about 30 layers of this stuff. You don't want to put it on too thick because it's going to run and drip. Um, at the same time, like like you like bear paint or something like that, you can take one coat, slap it on the wall, it dries, it's fine. It does not work. You have to continuously paint it over, over and over again. So be prepared. Okay. So anyways, it was pretty scary when I put it on my, my piece. And it, again, it is an antique dresser that was kind of, it was kind of in a bad shape. So I didn't mind painting over it, but um, I sent them a message and left them something on the wall and they actually are really good. I have to say, even though the paint was kind of terror bad, the customer service for Astolium is the best customer service I've had since like Amazon. So if you just show them that you tried and you show them the batch number, they will go ahead and uh, send you or place two placement cans or I think they refund you if it's really bad. So again, if you really want a challenge and you have a lot of free time or you have a professional, but see then again, I've seen people with professional um, painters try to use this paint. I've seen it on the do, do it yourself page and it didn't come out great either. It did not come out like the picture. So um, if you're really determined, you really want to use it, just know what you're getting into. So again, it looks like this, but I'm on my, I think I'm on layer number 12 or 13 on my dresser and there's still ball spots so what i did want to do is give you some tips and tricks i didn't want to just bash it because you know it's still i mean it's very pretty the parts that did like the level parts like the top and the sides that like the little um, edges that protrude from the dresser are beautiful like it looks like a fairy tale princess thing it's really pretty but um, I wanted to also show you how to properly use it. So again, when you're painting it, you don't want to just go like this. You have to do one layer this way, one layer that way. I think they say a roller is supposed to be in a W shape, so you have to, you can read the back of the can, but um, you have to alternate between the layers. I honestly think, again, that the first layer the first can I got was kind of defective because it was a lot runnier than this so if you get a can of this stuff and it's like you can see where it's like liquid like not like this is kind of like tacky you see how it kind of sticks if you get something that's completely liquefied take it back either take it back send them a message say I think something's wrong with my paint because what I had the first batch was nothing like this one so it might be something wrong with the I don't know but um even this one, this one does stick a little bit better so it doesn't drip as much, but you wanna, wanna just take your time, do very little, like the very tip of your brush and go like this. I really cannot imagine doing this on a wall. I'll be honest with you, I think I would go insane if I had to put this on a wall. A white wall, I, I don't know. Don't, just don't. Put put silver i recommend getting actually they do make um i think rustolian does make a metallic brush on paint so get the metallic brush on paint get this and put like four or five layers on it and be happy okay so again different directions and what i found and you won't believe this okay you will not believe this the best thing to apply this paint 
cost two dollars at Dollar General. It's these little bitty rollers. It comes with a roller set too. And you want to like get a piece of tape or something like this and tape it because it is two dollars. So it kind of sheds. So you want to tape it. I think you hold it between your legs and you sort of roll it to get all the extra stuff off of it because it does shed a lot. But oh my goodness, they like they said in the can, nap rollers are better. And then this thing, I don't know what it's made out of, but it definitely applies it well. When I used this, it was like a game changer. It went from horrible to, oh, it might be passable. I can keep doing this. So definitely this is from Dollar General. It's like $2. It's a pretty good deal. Okay. So, yeah, small brush, tiny layers. This thing, you still want to roll it until there's not much paint on it. And then I'm going to let you know, you still are going to have to go behind and check and make sure it's not dripping. So, okay. Okay, so that's basically how you use that, that glitter paint. Don't use it. But if you do use it, thin layers, different directions, get a nice nap roller that's small to fit. Or I guess if you're doing a wall, get a really large one and make sure you get rid of all the fuzzies before you use it. And there you go. Paint in different directions and good luck. So that's just the, the, the wall paint, which I will probably never use again. Unless something terrible happens. Or somebody pays me a lot of money to use it. Then I would do it. Okay. Now, this stuff. This is the second thing I want to talk about. Honestly, I actually kind of like the spray paint better. So, it's faster. And most of the times, it's easier to control. Because once it's on there, pretty much, you know how it's going to go. So, what I did was I was painting the drawers for my dresser in gold. So I used the metallic paint they have. So I use this stuff. And it is for indoor wood, metal, and more. So you can use it for furniture and other stuff. So this actually works great. This stuff is like amazing. I love this stuff. This is my favorite. I would use this. I'm happy with that. This stuff, well, like its cousin, it has its issues. You want to follow the directions and try to, uh, it says 12 inches, so like a foot away. This is the best way I can advise you to paint something. Let me see. Um, let's see if I can get this wood here. Okay, here we go. So let's pretend this is your piece, right? Okay. When you're spraying, you want to make sure you shake it, okay? Make sure it's far away, okay? Make sure it's like a foot away. I mean, literally, like, you're not up on it. You just want to, okay. Then, you want to take it and you have to squat. If it was like a dresser drill, like I squatted, like I was doing squats. It was, it was hard. So, you squat and then you take it and you just sort of, you missed it. Pretend like you're putting body spray on it. It's like, it says on here light layers, like don't even layer, just go tss, tss. like you just want to gently kiss it with glitter. Kiss it, kiss it, kiss it, kiss it, kiss it. And then step away. And then come back from it. Kiss it, kiss it, kiss it. Do one layer of, of gentle light, gentle, gentle light sprays. Do not under any circumstance, unless you're making like a stage prop that doesn't matter, like you're gonna see it far away. Under no circumstance, go like this. Please don't. Please. You're going to cry. You cry. At the end of this, you will be sad. This does not work. I don't care how far above you are. This does not work. Make, it, make sure you like completely level and you just mist it over it gently. Mist it. Mist it. And then you let it dry. I recommend doing it like three layers of that. And I promise you, come on, great. That, that is the secret to that technique. Okay, well, uh, I think that's pretty much all I had to say about the paint. Overall, I just wanted to say I wouldn't buy it. <laughs> I wouldn't buy it, but I mean, if you really, really like this look and you don't feel like throwing glitter at stuff, and let's say you are not painting something that's vertical. Let's say you're not painting a wall. Let's say you have a nightstand that you can actually, it's like flat, like you can 
like a flat surface that you can like sort of turn on different sides. Let's say I'm painting a tabletop or I'm painting, like I said, a nightstand. You can flip it over it square so it, it won't, it'll be even a level. You could totally do that with this. This would be perfect for it because it levels itself out. Like I said, it's like glue. Like you can see how pretty this is. Like it literally levels itself out. And when it dries, it is beautiful. But if you aren't thinking about doing a wall, anything vertical, like the reason my dresser is hard is because it has those little, I guess you call them wings, I'm not sure the technical name, but it has little ridges around it so I can't lay it on its side without damaging it or making it look, it's going to be uneven. So that's why I can't do it. But if you're doing anything vertical, no, you are in for a fight and a struggle. Good luck. Okay. Again, this is my, of the two products, this is my favorite one and it's pretty easy. You just got to be really really gentle don't be heavy-handed take your time do layers don't think you're gonna take this and just spray it on something okay it doesn't work that way gentle 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 and actually it turns out great i would, I would use this one okay that's it um